Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cock Frost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So Divine Masculine, I am here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. Aw, y'all got a new dog? I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reverses because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine masculine. Get no fit nugs. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video, but it is currently under construction. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in two Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you. Divine Masculine, I'm kind of speechless. I feel like that's your energy is speechless. You may just not know what to say, or someone else may not know what to say. Uh, is what I'm picking up on. I don't really have any uh, intuitive messages for you. I just kind of got up, got dressed, and was like, okay, let's do Divine Masculine's reading. Like, it's very, maybe what's understood ain't got to be explained type of energy, or it just is what it is type of energy. It feels very blunt, very matter-of-fact, very, uh, like, like, in your face, right there. Like, that's just what it is, okay? I don't know what that has to do with anything. Uh, in the next seven days, but it, it does, I guess. Oh, yeah, my tune in uh deck is back in stock, too, y'all. My bad. Yes, you can go to the ghettonun.com to purchase that. But back to you, Divine Masculine. I don't know. Maybe you don't know. Shit. I literally feel like clueless. As if. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you date dummies. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Something about Beverly Hills or some shit like that. I don't know. Let's see. I'm sure you're not watching. The, well, you could be watching the movie, but okay. Let's get some messages for you. Enough fucking around. Give me some messages for Divine Masculine, how he'll be feeling about himself and the energy he's going to be in in the next seven days. Okay, that will flip right over. I like this card. This is like the strength card. That's what this is. This is my bone crusher card. I ain't never scared. Okay. Somebody may break a bone, but I feel like it's not your first time breaking this bone or uh, injuring yourself. I'm, I'm getting a reoccurring injury here, Divine Masculine. Uh, with this card, you could be do some. You could be doing some type of conditioning training. Is that what it's called? I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but they're saying like conditioning training. So I don't know. Maybe it's physical therapy or something like that. <clears throat> Getting ready for something, bulking up for something. You could be preparing for something. You got get thee behind me, Satan, at the bottom of the deck. So this is you resisting the devil, or someone is resisting the devil around you. This could be temptation. This could be uh, an addiction, sex, something. There's something you're resisting here, or someone's resisting you in the next seven days. Yeah, it's a spiritual battle. I knew it was coming. Boy, I've been telling you that for how long now? It's a spiritual battle uh, upon you, is what it is. I feel like you conquer it, though. I like that you got the strength card. Uh, you know, I ain't never scared. Uh, makes me feel like it's a little bit of bullshit, like you may be, but I understand why you're doing it, though. You know? Give me another one. I do feel like there's a little fear there, but I don't feel like you let that get in the way of anything, you know? Give me another one. Okay, look at you. Not mad about it either. So you're not scared and you're not mad. Uh, some, or somebody's not. That's why I said speechless. This is like no emotion at all. This is like I'm cool, like confident. Uh, you know what I mean? I feel good. I'm energetic is what this is. I, it just is what it is. I'm not angry. It's like uh, indifferent. I'm getting some real indifferent energy, like just existing. Like, like you sitting at a table and, you know, you're just sitting there. If I just lay here, yeah, would you lie with me? I don't know. Maybe you want to chill with somebody. Just, I don't know, gee, and not say anything. Some of y'all want to, like, chill with somebody and just be quiet, I, I guess. That's what it says. Or maybe you're looking for some peace and quiet or something like that. Uh, divine, you're not mad at anybody or upset or anything. This is like, I just want to get my energy up is what this is. I don't know. Some shit like that. You seem real chill, to be honest with you. Yeah, maybe you just want to smoke some weed, you know, get out of your comfort zone, roll up a little something, something, you know what I mean, vibe a little bit. Uh, this could be maybe you smoking with some, you know, little honey or something. I don't know. It's like chill. I feel like y'all want to like vibe. 
Like, you know what I mean? And I mean that as far as like with someone or some type of environment that's just like chill, serene, quiet, peaceful. Like, I feel like that's what you guys are looking for in the next seven days or someone who exudes this energy or maybe you exude this energy. Somebody could want to be around you because you're like that, just like peaceful or some shit. Something like that. I feel like you don't want any talking, like no uh, noise or something. I don't know. It's very, maybe you work in a library, G. Uh, some shit. Give me another one here. Maybe like a librarian. Uh, well, there go the scary man. But then you got the not crazy boy. So this is like feeling all crazy and woozy and shit, but it's not because it's reversed. But then you got scared here as well. So shit, I don't know. Look at all these faces. It ain't nothing but faces that came out. So these are like emotions going through the motions, Divine Masculine. Nobody really is saying it. I mean, not that the cards speak, but this, nobody really is saying anything. You know, this is also being confident uh, in regards to your competition, Divine Masculine. Something about your confidence is real fucking sexy right now, okay? It's like you don't have to do too much. Even That's why I said before, I said, I feel like it's a little fear in here, but I'm not surprised. I knew it. I could feel it. It's just like, you know, who want to go out there with that kind of face? You know, it's almost like jitters. It could be wedding day jitters. It could be stage fright. It could be uh, getting to know somebody new, a new job. It's something here where I feel like you're uh, appearing to be confident in something, but I mean, shit, you straight. You're not woozy. This is like throwing up on yourself. There's vomit on the sweater already. Mom spaghetti. It's like this type of energy, but it's not. You kept the spaghetti now is what this says, even though you got jitters. It's kind of like this type of energy. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes, yeah. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. Yeah, so I don't know. Some of y'all are musicians or something performing or you do something where you have to present something. I feel like shit, you got this shit is what it says. Maybe the beast ain't came out yet. You know what I mean? Maybe you waiting on the beast to emerge is what this is. But I feel like you're supposed to be calm or... Maybe you expected or you're expecting to feel different about something than you do. You know, it's like, man, this is, this is something that should make me nervous and I'm not nervous or this, I shouldn't be nervous about this and I am nervous. It's something like that, Divine. What you want, what you want on the interview? <laughs> Shit, what is this? This could be like, like married, like waiting at the altar. Like, no, I know I want to marry this person. I'm not all, you know, fucked up or whatever. I'm just nervous because I'm getting married, but I feel good about it. It's like this type of energy. Something you're doing, I feel like you uh, deep down feel good about it. Like, you know, it's for you or you know, it's right or something like that. Boy, I don't know. Shit. Mm -hmm. It's shady. Damn, I was just singing Eminem. So I don't know. Maybe somebody getting put on the spot, Divine Masculine. This could be somebody being overly confident as well. Like somebody been taking the reign of something for a long ass time. Like nobody can beat me, right? This, but it's reversed. Meaning like nobody can compete with this person. But somebody ends up stepping up to the plate to compete with somebody. Or, you know what I mean? It could be something like that. Where somebody like has been sitting on the throne for a long time. And nobody could really like, you know what I mean? Like get this person. Or, you know what I mean? Overthrow this person. Let's say that. Well, it could be business or relate. I don't know what it is. It's something like that where somebody is being challenged here, okay, in the next seven days. I don't know who's challenging who because somebody's confident, someone's not confident here. So, I mean, the confident one may be overly confident where you need to, like, not be like that and, like, exercise and, you know, get in beast mode and really act like this a competition because this could be somebody being too lax, like the turtle in the hair and shit, right? Uh, the hair thinking he going to beat the turtle and shit so he ain't even exercised or started sprinting, put his gym shoes on, nothing. Remember, he took a nap. And then this could be the turtle thinking that they're not going to win, but they do because the hair fell asleep. It could be something like that. I don't know. Something like that, y'all. If that made any damn sense at all, y'all know the damn story. Shit. Somebody out here is definitely fearful of something. And I feel like they have a right to be. I just don't know what it is, though. Because in this section, it says someone being scared and not crazy. Like, you have a right to be scared. You're not crazy. You know something's up. Somebody may be hiding something here, Divine Masculine. That's what it really feels like, like someone putting up a brave face. Someone may be hiding something they're going through or something they may be feeling worried about and they're not expressing it. Maybe they can't express it as far as uh, 
they're not in a position to as far as this is not the place or the time. This could be somebody's job, you know, and they having marital problems. Like, this ain't the place to be talking about this shit. So somebody puts on a brave face, you know, act like nothing's wrong, even though they worried about their relationship at home. Or it's something like that. It could be money. Something like that, G. In the next seven days. Mm. It's a lot of people out here, G. Let's see here. Put something on this, uh, I ain't never scared bone crusher. Somebody's gonna outlast somebody here, though, Divine Masculine, okay? This somebody's strong as fuck. There is no competition. This is like the Five of Wands, but it's reversed. There is no competition when it comes to you or somebody, G. Somebody may know this uh, deep down. Or shit, this could be a relationship where, you know what I mean? Uh, somebody's with someone, say like divine masculine. There's a divine feminine that's with someone. Whoever this woman is with, there's no com there's no competition when it comes to you. Whoever she's with knows this. Somebody's uh, significant other knows about you, divine masculine or divine feminine, however this goes. And they know they can't uh, like, like match you at all, G. Like you're just the ideal person for their partner. Someone knows that they're with someone's ideal partner. Like they can't match up to this person. Uh, some shit. Somebody loses their glasses out here too in the next seven days. Or you don't have to wear them anymore. Someone's eyesight may improve. This could be LASIK, LASIK surgery that somebody gets as well. Put something on bone crusher, I ain't never scared. You got two new directions and the art of seduction. Oh shit. You and somebody got some chemistry here, Divine Masculine. Somebody may be trying to lure you or seduce you, or this is you trying to do it, but the it's strong though. This is I ain't never scared. So somebody about to make a move towards somebody, Divine Masculine. You with somebody else here. Uh damn sure it could be you. Or you're gonna go after something. It could be a new job. It could be like something that uh, puts you in a position of power for sure that you want to conquer or claim. I see you going after it, especially if you are uh, independent, single, or you can do what the fuck it is you want to do. You know what I mean? You on that boosie webby shit. As far as you know, you got your own house, on, right? You got your own shit. I feel like some of y'all are about to go after something because you can afford to or you deserve it or you really want that shit. Some of y'all are really addicted to power as well, Divine Masculine. This is also having control. Uh, Cause this will be the one in the four would be like the devil and the emperor. This is like having control, and then you got the emperor here with the with the hierophant. If we gonna talk about the four and the five here, right? This could be a job. This could be CEO, man, whatever the fuck, entrepreneur. There's something that you want to dominate or that you're dominating, divine masculine. Okay, some of y'all it's a person because this breaks down to the nine. Some of y'all are single or some shit like that, or you want someone that's single or some something you want divine masculine that you determined to get. I don't know if it's good or bad yet, G, because I feel like uh, you or someone else may be uh, doing some things like you know unconventional or kind of unethical, let's say that, to get their way. Okay, that's why there's no competition. So this is somebody like buying views, buying subscribers, buying something. And it's like, well, no, there's no competition because you buying everything. It's like this type of shit or uh, someone got someone because they're always at their house or they're always, you know what I mean, around this person. It's like, well, I, I guess you would get them. You want his nuts. You know what I mean? It's, it's like this type of energy here. So, I mean, it's kind of giving off of like a determination vibe, but it's also giving off like a, a cheating vibe because we saw it's shiny, right? We saw something kind of under the table, something being done kind of like, I don't know. It kind of feel like the hookup too. So, I mean, I can't really say, G, you know? I do see you separating from like uh, conflict and, and arguments and fights and shit. I see you wanting to just love, love on yourself, love on you. Possibly fix some things in regards to your life that you've been working on. Some things that you may not be so proud of. Things you've been battling uh, that you don't want to talk to anybody about. You kind of want to deal with alone. I see you dealing with these things. You're not crazy to want to do these things alone. Some of them. You know, like some shit you like, no, this is some shit I got to handle like by myself. Like if people want to be like, well, I can help you out there and all this shit. I feel like this is something you need to deal with by yourself. Whatever this is for whoever that resonates with. You would know this already though. Some of y'all are not attracted to someone anymore. 
you could be married to this person or just been with this person a long time or it's something that you do, you're not feeling it no more. Even though it, it calls your name, you're just tired of it, shit. It's like eating the same fucking food every day. Who the fuck want to do that? You know? Some of y'all are burnt out on some shit, but you don't know what to do without it if you left it. And it, and it calls, this could be drugs like a motherfucker. And it call your name, G. You know? Or it could be a little thought thought or something like pussy. You know what I mean? Uh, something's trying to lure you back in for sure. You're not crazy. So I put it to you this way, divine masculine or divine feminine. Something you guys are trying to separate from is about to dangle a carrot in your face. It is. It's going to, it's going to be easily accessible when it wasn't before or someone or something right when you get ready to leave it, dump it, break up with it, quit, stop fucking with it. You know, some shit like that is going to be all around you, G. It's going to be everywhere. You're going to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You're not crazy. That's just how shit is. Yeah, that's how the devil work. The devil with titties. It's probably some broad. Somebody around you is very confident, divine masculine. Or it's you. Or it's two people. Somebody out here is like very, very confident. And it's real though. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's like it just comes with ease. They don't have to fight or, you know what I mean, be worried or think they're crazy. or no. Somebody's just very confident in who they are is what it is. It may not even be a good thing. Somebody's just confident in who they are. Like, oh, well, motherfucker, that's me. Shit, oh, well. I kind of like it, though. <laughs> that's why I always have respect for the villain that's the real villain and shit. You know what I mean? Like, that motherfucker, like, I am the villain, though. Like, that's who I am. It's like, that's kind of, you know, I respect. It's kind of this type of shit here, even though they're going about it the wrong way, being the villain. That's why I said somebody may be doing something like underhanded or sneaky or some shit like that to get their way, but this person is known for doing like they're the villain. Gee, I mean, shit, I don't know. Something like that. Put something on uh, the little boy that's not mad now. Abracadabra. This is the magician. Like abracadabra, I'm up like Viagra, is what I heard. Bitch, watch me. Yeah, I don't know. Three Pete, little Wayne. Somebody's name could be Wayne. Uh, I don't know, but that's what I heard. Abracadabra, I'm up like Viagra. So shit, that's what it feel like. That's why I said bone pressure, I ain't never scared. Like something is energizing you, Divine Masculine. Some of y'all could have gotten a new relationship. Somebody, some of you guys are headed to a new relationship, new direction, or you, Divine Feminine, or y'all about to come together. It's a strong bond. Like, somebody manifested this shit. They didn't even have to fight for it. Like, it's yours, or something is yours, Divine Masculine, that you don't have to fight for. But it's still something sneaky here, G. You know? But it's like, you can't be outdone, or someone else can't be outdone. So it's like they have the means is almost what it is. That's why it's, it may seem sneaky to somebody because someone can't do what the other person can do. So it's like they have a one up on the person. It could be something like that, but that shit work. Shit. You know what I mean? So somebody may have more money, uh, more assets, more resources, more people behind them, more something or whatever that pushes something further than uh, somebody else. G. I don't know. Oh, the wrong mask. I hope you ain't out here cheating. Okay. Cause that's what this feel like, like a cheat sheet. Like somebody gave you the answers and maybe they did. Shit, you are divine masculine. Your gods could just be telling you like, go this way, go this way, do this, do that. Something about escargot or snails. Someone's car may be moving really slow or somebody's like losing strength. Somebody out here is like real powered the fuck up and somebody out here is slowing down divine masculine. This could be in your uh, career field. Like, you know what I mean? You charge the fuck up and other people just slowing the fuck down or some shit like that, Okay. Slow and steady wins the race, divine masculine. Some of you guys are gonna, somebody out here is losing their spark. I don't know if it's an older person, an older man. This could be a father, grandfather, or this is you. But it could be just because of old age or it's just because I'm not, I mean, it could be a relationship. Like, I'm just not feeling this shit. But one person, it's like, I can't even say it's losing its spark. It's like, you don't have it here, G. This is like, I'm, I'm losing my spark with you, bitch. It's not, I'm not losing my spark completely. It's bitch with you or this job or this shit, man. It's what it is. It's like, I'm still the same OG is what I am, but not here. I just, I'm not feeling it. I feel like I'm slowing down. Divine Feminine kind of had the same energy a little bit as far as like, 
I got to get the fuck up out of here. This is kind of what this is too, but something holding on to you tight as fuck, divine masculine. You had that shit before. You always have something or someone holding on to you hella fucking tight. Strong as fuck, bone crusher. Damn, they're about to break your, what they call it, the hyoid bone? I don't know. Somebody may get choked too. But they said the hyoid bone, damn, that's pretty tight. Somebody, some of y'all like that kinky ass shit too, okay? Uh, cause I may be good, but, or whatever, bad, but, yeah, something about S&M and shit. Okay, Divine Masculine, somebody gonna fuck around. I heard somebody breaking a high, hyoid bone or whatever you call it, okay? So I don't know what y'all into, a little freak, okay? Anyway, some of y'all are musicians, actors, entertainers, athletes, influencers, uh, doctors, uh, professors, some shit where you do something where people, you work with your hands, a lot of you as well, if you don't do any of the other shit I named. You create something. You could be, you could build something. You could be an architect, a construction worker, some shit. It's not hard for you. Whatever it is that you do, you do it with ease, divine masculine, or somebody out here is just real gifted like a motherfucker for sure. And that may put fear in people. You know what I mean? Like, how the fuck do they keep doing this shit? Uh, shit. Mm -hmm. Somebody may think you into that witchy poo shit, Divine Masculine, or some of y'all may feel like somebody into some witchy poo shit. They may be. They say you ain't crazy. Somebody may have tried to put like a little spell on somebody or something. I feel like it, I feel like somebody tried to put a love spell on somebody. Look at this. Look at this. Damn cat drinking milk out of the bowl. Somebody tried to put a love spell on somebody, and I feel like whoever did the love spell, it hit this person. Like, so the caster is the one who got hit with the love spell, or the one who purchased the work is the one where the love spell hit that motherfucker. For sure. This person knows it, too. The person who got the love spell done, they know that they're the one that got bit by the love bug. So, I mean, the shit worked. It just worked on the wrong motherfucker. I mean, basically... Uh, I don't know divine masculine, divine feminine. Somebody that wanted you to fall in love with them then fell in love with you. But they was dabbling in shit is what this is. And now it's like real strong. Somebody can't stay away from somebody or following somebody around. Uh, some shit like that. Ooh wee. No, y'all didn't. Something about a fast car or a Tracy Chapman. I don't know. <laughs> some, somebody name could be Tracy or last name Chapman. But something about a fast car, okay? Or you like fast cars, divine masculine. Slow your motherfucking ass down. I see you driving around by yourself, possibly thinking about someone. Yeah. Somebody out here is scared to drive, too. This could be a kid or something. Like, they got their learner's permit or some shit like that. Somebody, or there's a grown-ass adult out here that's still scared to drive. I don't know. Drive back, baby, do me fast in your car. I'm here waiting crash, so do me real hard. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody fucking in the back seat of something going on here, okay? Yeah, some about driving. Some of you guys could just work in transportation or some shit like that. Mechanics I see out here as well. Yeah, some of y'all are really wishing for, uh, somebody's either wishing for you to not be with someone divine masculine. I feel like they're go something's going against the other. So someone is really wishing or trying to manifest to be with someone and someone's wishing against that or praying against that happening, okay? I feel like it's someone outside of you or whoever this is trying to manifest or bring someone in. Someone else is trying to combat that shit with something. Manipulation, some type of juju, some shit like that. But I feel like the bond between you and somebody else is strong as fuck, G. For real, for real. It may be, uh, I don't know. The magician may be getting tired or whoever's doing this manipulation or trying to fuck some shit up. They may be getting tired here. Like they don't have any more drive. You know shit, love is the most powerful thing. So, so anybody trying to get in between two people that really love each other or that bond is like really strong, this person will never win, G. It doesn't matter what it is. Them people, you know about Romeo and Juliet? Juliet? Yeah, hot sex on the platter. That's throwback shit. Oh shit. Uh, what y'all doing, Divine Masculine? I feel like uh, y'all thinking about somebody. I heard it's a tragedy, a romantic tragedy. So shit, I don't know. I did pick up on somebody choking somebody. Like, uh, I don't know, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Be careful. Somebody may love somebody to death out here, G, on some real shit, you know? They say when people like, you know, choke people is very, it's an intimate thing. It's personal and it's true. Because a motherfucker looking you in your eyes when they choking the shit out your ass. 
till you black out and start seeing stars. That's the last person you see on some real shit speaking from experience. I'm just saying, Del, okay? That's what the fuck this is. Stars, okay? Something about a hyoid bone that choking somebody or some shit. I don't know if you like it. It don't seem like it. Somebody shit or something. Or somebody scared themselves like I almost killed this bitch. For real. Keep your hands to yourself, Divine Masculine. Okay? Divine feminine or whoever the fuck Cause that's what this is Like somebody gets so upset Like I didn't realize My hands was around their throat like that On some real shit It ain't funny either I'm not laughing And I'm, I don't want you to laugh But that's what the fuck this shit is Somebody snapping on a motherfucker Okay When they usually ain't crazy like that But somebody may lose it G. Damn What is you into bro? Some little boy wants his ears pierced I don't know I don't know what that has to do with anything. I don't know if you take them or you don't take them. I don't know. I feel like he wants his ears pierced and then when he get there, he's scared or some shit like that. I don't know. Some about a little boy and some, some diamonds in his ear or some shit. Somebody's trying to drive you crazy, Divine Masculine, or you're trying to do this. It's not working, though, because the crazy is reversed. And this breaks down to a seven, which is why I say that, which will be chariot energy trying to drive you crazy or drive you into so it's just like some fear based mindset to where you go crazy. That shit ain't working. Somebody's very. I don't know what the fuck they are, whatever they're doing, it's very uh like low grade. Like somebody must think you a tar, G, or like you just fall for anything or something like that or anything moves you or you're flattered by anything or some shit like that. I don't know. Something may get you choked up, though. Something as far as uh, like it, it may hit you, it hit you in the heart as far as a soft spot is what I'm trying to say. Something may get you a loving gesture or some shit like that. It, it may. Maybe this is somebody like wanting to reconcile with you when they're scared to say something, or you are. Like, it's crazy if I reach out to this person and try to say something. It says you kind of get your, look, the queen bee, you may get your way. Uh, divine feminine, number 11 here. Which would be what? The death card, right? Yes. Yeah. Something's transforming. Something may be over divine masculine so you could head somewhere else. Or you're ending something so you can head somewhere else. Whatever you're leaving to go towards next uh, is going to try to destroy whatever you're going towards next. So whatever you're leaving, be aware. It's going to try to fuck some shit up or manipulate some shit or fuck, you know, whatever it does. But it's not going to act like it. So you could ask them or it or whatever. Like, are you trying to fuck up my shit? And they'd be like, no. I, why would I ever do that? I'm not upset. It's your life. You, this this type of shit. It's your life. You can do what you want. Boop, boop, boop. This, all this other shit. It's manipulation. They are upset. And they are mad. Uh, and scared and all this other shit that you're gonna do whatever the fuck it is you're gonna do or you're done you've done it okay something about paris or england big ben's clock i heard if that's a thing i don't know is big ben does big ben have a clock i don't know i thought he just made rice <laughs> For real, I don't. That's, that's Uncle Ben. See, I don't even know. Shit, something about Ben. Somebody's name could be Ben. Uh, anyway, put something on the scared man here with the not so crazy little boy. Your hair is growing too, uh, divine masculine. I've been picking up on people's hair growing. Somebody may be balding as well. Uh, here too. It's like somebody's hair thinning as well. It could be from you wearing a lot of hats, Divine Masculine, if you've been wondering. Or some woman who wear a lot of lace fronts or weaves or something like that. Someone's hair may be coming out because of that. Or you just stress the fuck out in some environment, but you act like you're not stressed out, but it's showing up on your body. Yes, I told Divine Feminine the same thing. So you can uh, pretend pretty well, like everything is cool, but something's being affected on your body, G. This is giving me acne too, or like, uh... What's that shit called? It's not called beard rash. But what is it called? Beard burn or what is that shit called? When y'all get them bumps and shit. You know, it's giving me that type of shit too. Like from shaving, shaving bumps, but it's called something. Like razor bumps, I guess is what it's called. It's making me itch, G, just talking about that shit. Oh, I don't know. Some of our razor bumps, G, okay? I don't know. Y'all need to, I don't know. And maybe whoever this is hugging all up on your shit. Somebody, I don't know. What is what did that break down to? A five and a nine. 
95 could be significant. But it's something you need to separate from while you keep getting razor bumps. It's probably this motherfucking barber, G. Maybe they don't dip they shit in the barber side or whatever that blue shit is or change the, the guard or the clippers or something like that, okay? Uh, that's why y'all keep getting these bumps and shit. Look at all this shit. That motherfucker, this look like pus, G. Ouch, okay? Mm-mm, shit all patchy and shit. What is this, man? Mm-mm. Or right, some of y'all just don't need to be doing... Working in a barbershop, you're not good at it, say. Or ma'am, it could be a woman. Shit, I don't know. But that's why you got that shit. Okay? Something about some taco meat. <laughs> I don't fucking know what they talking about, G. Something about some taco meat or browning up ground, cooking ground beef or something. Mmm. I don't know, Gene. They just talking about shit now. I'm like, what? This probably barbershop talk. This is random as fuck. Put something on the scared ass man with the not crazy little boy. Secrets. The mount. Yeah, divine masculine. Maybe you scared somebody may know some shit, or somebody scared you know some shit. Somebody out here is a secret keeper, G. This giving me high priestess energy here, or like a tarot reader, intuitive X Men type of energy. Uh, somebody's not crazy. Yeah, so Divine Masculine, maybe you came into contact with an X-Man or you are an X-Man, which I'm sure you are. Somebody came in. It's just like somebody uh, not believing who you are until you prove some shit. But I feel like whatever it is you've been proving to people or showing people, it's apparent that you know what the fuck you're talking about or somebody does. This is somebody that's like found out something that no one has ever told anyone, okay? Or like, so say somebody knows some shit about you and you ain't never told nobody. This would be you. And you know that motherfucker not crazy and shit because how the fuck would they know that shit? This is like somebody in disbelief about something as well, Divine Masculine, or they could be in disbelief about you. Some of y'all are worried about a secret coming out or uh, someone's medical diagnosis. This is also like someone finding out that someone that maybe has some type of like mental disability, like bipolar, schizophrenia, some shit like that. And somebody's worried that this may affect something uh, if it gets out or someone's suffering with some type of something right now. I feel like it's a lot of worry out here, but... It doesn't need to be. So let's say Divine Masculine, you're leaving someone and you want to go towards someone else. And the person you're leaving is like, well, I hope that person knows you're schizophrenic and have bipolar and this and that and the other. And they get, they get in your head. You know what I mean? Like, well, maybe that person won't want me because I'm bipolar. I'm using this as an example. Schizophrenic or whatever it is. Broke. Uh, you could have a disease or some shit, not something deadly, but it could be like lupus, cancer. I don't fucking know. Some shit like that where they're like, yeah, that person probably won't want to be. This is somebody feeding you this shit or this is you doing this to somebody. Somebody's trying to get in someone's head to make them feel like wherever they're going, they won't be wanted there or appreciated or loved there. But it's bullshit. Uh, it's, it's bullshit. Somebody's intuition is telling them correctly, like, this is where you're supposed to go, even though you're fearful to do it. It's telling me, like, you know what I mean? There's no need to. You have all the tools you need. Your bones are strong. You're healthy, energetic to bring it in, whatever this is that you're trying to bring. So some of y'all feel like you don't have what it takes to get something, Divine Masculine. Or someone feels this way about you. Like, maybe they feel like they don't have what it takes to uh, be with you, be in your presence. Or, you know what I mean? Some shit. Work with you. Befriend you. Some shit like that. Somebody may feel, or you feel like this, but I feel like it's, that's been, um, like, taught by someone. Like, someone was taught this, to think this about themselves, and it's so not true, G. <laughs> Somebody's scared of ass out here, so I don't know. Something about a virgin. I heard 40-year-old virgin. It's, like, scared of that ass uh, is what that is. So, I don't know. Somebody about to get some for the first time. It's a grown-ass man, too, you know? Because the moon is ass. Uh, it's almost like, damn, you know? Like, no, you're not crazy to want that shit, you know? Shit, you grow. I mean, you know? Like, I would think that your bottom part would want something eventually at this age. Not condoning it or nothing, but this like somebody first time getting ass, G. Okay? And I don't mean like ass, but you know what I mean? Like having sex is what I mean. It could be. I don't know. Let's move on, though. Someone out here knows that you're not tripping either, Divine Masculine. Like, you're not pressed for no shit. Or you know this about somebody. That they don't really... That they're not in emotional in their emotions. Like, they're not upset. Or maybe you were worried that someone was upset. You could have been worried that someone was upset with you. Like, something could have happened. It's like, this person will never talk to me again. Or someone feels this way about you. I don't feel like they are. 
uh, it says that they ain't shit, but somebody could be worried or they know that they should be. This is like the shit they should be mad and upset, but they not. Somebody's like real cool out here, Divine Masculine. Like, it is what the fuck it is, G. I kind of like this person a little bit just because of their nonchalant attitude. Like, oh well, you know what I mean? Shit be happening, you know? Like, they don't take, somebody out here doesn't take things personal as what this is when they probably should, you know? I do see you guys dating someone in secret, Divine Masculine, for some of you. This is you and someone else getting away and creating your own little, you know, paradise and secret is what this is. You may be, uh, some of y'all are hiding a relationship or your love for someone or someone's doing this uh, in regards to you, Divine Masculine, because of what other people may think. But I kind of, I kind of like it on the low, to be honest with you. There's too many motherfuckers out here. So I kind of like the fact that you do that or whoever this is does this. It's just too many people, you know? Or this is someone that you could be in a relationship with. Some of y'all are, are in entertainment industry or in some industry where it's just a lot of people on you, male or female. I feel like uh, some of you guys are with someone who just knows how the game goes. That's what this is. Like, I just know moon car entertainment. Motherfuckers be, you know, that's just how the shit is. Some of y'all are uh, with someone who understands your job or understands what it is that you do if you're in the entertainment industry or you're set to be with someone like that or that's what you're looking for. But you may be scared like, ain't nobody out there like that. Uh, it may be. I don't know if they cool with an open relationship. It could be something like that, Divine Masculine, or they just trust you and just know the game. I don't know. That's between you and them, Booski. okay, for those where that applies. This could be an athlete that plays ball or some shit. Something like that. I feel like something comes with, with the territory in regards to this. But somebody got to be strong enough to deal with it. Bone crusher, I ain't never scared. Like, that's just... The industry is like, what's there to get mad about? But somebody is deep down still scared, though. But that's that's what anything, though. Anything can happen. That's a woulda, coulda, shoulda. That motherfucker don't even have to be in entertainment or an athlete or anything for you to be worried, uh, male or female, if that person's going to do something or, you know what I mean? So it, it doesn't even matter the profession at all. Somebody, I mean, some people do have more attention put on them than others as far as their profession but i feel like anybody could cheat and just be a whole dog ass motherfucker if they want to so that really don't have nothing to do with nothing to me but it could to somebody else a lot of fours out here divine masculine this is definitely your read you got 45 14 34 43 a lot of uh emperor energy out here high priestess energy out here and then you got the devil and you got the hierophant. Same kind of shit as divine feminine. That shit's crazy. Yeah, something may be trying to lure you back in, G. Or you're trying to lure something or someone back in to you, possibly. But it's, it's my, uh, I gotta put one right here with this, this abracadabra. It's bothering me, G. It's bothering me. Because then we get scared right here. That's why I said somebody may have tried to put a love spell on somebody and it backfired. Now that motherfucker in love. Or somebody may have tried to like put out a lie about someone or do some old foul ass shit. And then it, back, it backfires and gets this person. It's something like that. But in a love situation, I feel like it's kind of like the chaser becomes the runner and the runner becomes the chaser. So somebody wanted somebody to fall all over them and be on their nuts. And that's the person that's on the other person's nuts now. Or some shit like that. What's this abracadabra? Is it good or bad? Sleeping Beauty's dream. Shit, somebody trying to create a home with somebody. It don't feel bad to me. Oh, divine masculine. Some of y'all moving in with somebody, building a home with someone, or you would like to, but you're keeping this secret. Some of y'all want to build a home or be with somebody. You're just not telling people this shit for whatever reason. You keeping it real cool, G, okay? Or you dream about this type of life with someone or someone feels this way about you, Divine Masculine. That's another three. Yeah, high priestess. Yeah, this is a secret. Or this is the way you feel about someone. Some of y'all could be married and feel like really strongly about someone. Or you're in a relationship with someone and you feel really deeply about someone else. And you dream about being with this person. But you got to play it cool in this relationship where this person is all on your high oil bone. Okay? 
it's like like really wishing this is like making a wish like man i wish i could get away from this shit you know what i mean and like really build the life that i want and shit where it ain't no hassle no trouble no nothing but i'm scared to do that shit that'd be crazy to just leave all this and go to that or just make this move and do that it's something like that going on here divine masculine but you definitely know what you want something about nighttime too when nighttime comes around you really think about whatever this is this could be a project this could be your dream home or dream job, your empire, is some shit like that that you want to go towards that you uh, keep to yourself. Like you dream about it or think about it every day. All day I dream about sex, I heard. Adidas. Okay. You nasty, boy. That's all that's, this been about. You want to sleep with somebody, fuck, show you the. Whoever this is, this person is resisting you, whoever you want to sleep with. They're trying to create something like a... a uh, empire or they want like a, a, a commitment or some shit like that and they don't feel like they should have to compete or fight for you whoever this is or this is you and that may scare you a little bit uh, about this person because you still want this person it's like damn usually when people turn me down and shit I'll be like fuck them then says the raw masculine not this time this is like you want that shit even more, whoever this is. Yeah, you staying or somebody is. Somebody who got turned down or rejected, they want that shit even more now, Divine Masculine. Damn. Yeah, the art of seduction. Damn. Some of y'all are going house hunting or someone is going house hunting. You don't like it, though. Whoever this is going to do it, it's time consuming and it's exhausting. Like you're burnt out on this shit. You know, but you know you have to move somewhere or someone has to move or something like that. But you hate doing it. Some of y'all are just real estate agents and you whooping people ass in the real estate game for sure, okay? Some about all your houses on the market is selling or some shit and other people in this industry, uh, it ain't happening for them. See all them keys, they ain't sold not there, not a one motherfucking house here. So shit, I don't know. Some of y'all have multiple homes. Some of y'all know you're going to be with somebody divine masculine. If I put that moon over here with new direction and the seduction, this is like I know where, who I'm going to be with. I know where I'm headed. I know who I'm destined to be with. Or someone feels this way about you. Damn. That's why I said somebody out here is very confident. This is like I know where I'm going, who I'm going to be with, and we're going to manifest a home together and be together, and that shit is mine. Or I know that this job is mine, this home is mine, this life is mine. Somebody is like that shit is mine, and I'm taking that shit. I like it, Divine Masculine. I really do. I can't really speak if it's a person because this person could belong to somebody already. You know what I mean? So I can't really condone that shit. But I like your drive. <laughs> I like your ambition. Like, shit, you know? It's like uh, stopping somebody's wedding. It's like uh, in the middle of somebody's wedding. Like, if anybody uh, rejects to these two getting married, speak now and forever hold your peace. It's like you running in the middle of the wedding, G. Like, I, that's my shit. I don't know. You could get beat up or it could be a good thing. I don't know. I can't really speak on that shit. I don't know why you would wait so long and wait to somebody's wedding day to come ruin that shit. Uh, using that as an example. You know what I mean? But it's like maybe somebody wasn't sure how they felt, you know, or maybe somebody didn't really think someone would go through with it, like move on to someone else. They don't have to be getting married, but this is you seeing somebody move on. Somebody could be leaving, leaving the state, country, city. You're like, this person's really leaving, about to get on a plane and fucking leave. And it's like you chasing them down at the airport or somebody doing this shit to you. Like, I can't let this motherfucker just go. Like, I know this person is mine or this is mine. I feel like a person, G. I'm going to have to ask real quick, is this a person? Because you feel like you in love, boy. Okay? <laughs> For real. So this could be some of y'all with someone. Say some of y'all are with someone married already and shit. And there's somebody that you have your eye on. And this person is single or not about to be single. Or they fit, realize you were married or you're not leaving or some shit. Or you realize this. And they're like, well, fuck it. I'm going to just move on and shit. Cut my losses. And you get scared or someone else gets scared that this person really gone for good. Like they just went silent and cold on a motherfucker. This makes somebody come after this person, G. Like, it's just, they like, I, I mean, unless they gonna dream about it for the rest of their life and, you know what I mean, be cuddled up with whoever the fuck this is that's giving them razor bumps and shit. I don't know. Okay? Something like that. Who is this? Uh, in regards to Divine Masculine, or is this him? Somebody you brushed off or that brushed you off. Yeah, so it's like ghosting energy. This is somebody you got caught up with. You could have met this person on the internet. It could have been a lot of drama with this person on the internet or just, like I said, an athlete. You could play basketball or some shit like that. But this is getting caught up. 
is what this is. So this is something you didn't want to get caught up in or somebody didn't want to get caught up in with you. Like, nah. So like I said, you could have been married or you could be or with someone or you, uh, you know what I mean? There's something that you or someone else does and somebody like, I'm fucking cool on that shit, G. I don't, I don't do all that shit. So they dipped out, they left or they like declined the shit. So somebody went on with their life, but they still were thinking about that person, whoever declined their offer. And they want this motherfucker even more now. Even though the offer was brushed off, whoever did it, somebody still wants somebody, G, period. Damn. I told you about them razor bumps, boy. Somebody need to clean their fucking utensils, G. For real. They brushes, combs, I told you. Or you need to wash your combs and brushes or some, uh, some shit. Some about hair. Somebody may have locks. Divine Masculine, you could have locks or something like that. Some of y'all have... uh braids i see bald heads out here uh short haircuts long haircuts some of y'all have really long hair like you wear a man bun some of y'all are balding or thinning or some shit like that i see blondes brunettes uh afros shit mm -hmm. crew cuts low cut season with the deep waves so quick to snatch up your beyonce yeah i don't know okay you look like you brushed off, Beyonce. I mean, not the real one, but I'm just saying. Who is this? Protective nest. Whoever this is, they feel like home, Divine Masculine. And you brushed it off, or they brush you feel like home to someone, or someone feels like home to you, and you brush that shit off, or they brush this shit off. Because I'm asking, who is this that's got you feeling like this? Or uh, who you have feeling like this? Somebody that brushed your ass off and you felt like the real deal, G? You know, they just disregarded the shit. But this is somebody that cherishes your ass. This is a Fra Fabergé egg. You see how she got this egg down here with all the stencil and pretty paint, and those are up there, just regular ass eggs? This is like somebody that you cherish or still cherishes you or puts you on a pedestal, but they hide it, G. It's like you don't want anybody to know or someone doesn't want anyone to know how they feel about you. So they brushed it off like, nah, I don't. So this could be somebody uh, denying that they like your ass or love your ass, and they really do. They just keep it hidden and shit, but you the person they really want to be with or vice versa. This is the person you really want to be with. You just act like you don't for whatever reason. It could be because you're with someone. Have a family with someone. Then already created some type of lifestyle or some shit like that. And it's just like, I can't, you know what I mean? Like, just brush all that shit off of this. It's like somebody was like, cool, then don't. You know what I mean? That's fine. Stay where you are. Stay with that man. Stay with that woman. Stay at that job. Stay in that town. Stay living like you live. Stay fucking bitches, whatever. Men, whatever. Do what you do. And that made somebody be like, well, no, I kind of do. You know, it's like they kind of, they still want the shit. So, I mean, I don't know, man. You, mm -hmm. They can do this with their eyes closed. Whoever this is, this person is talented. Uh, divine masculine. You or someone else. Somebody out here could do hair as well. Some about hair, yeah. Braids or, or fades or locks or twists or... Some shit, or just a beautician or a barber or some shit like that. Or you could be working in a barber shop or own one or some shit like that. I don't know. This is also my breaking up weed card, my dispensary card. But this is like acting nonchalant, like you don't see a motherfucker care and shit. But somebody really does. It's like somebody hiding their love for somebody. They really want them, G, period. That's what goes on in the next seven days. Damn. We about to go over to Patreon, G. I'm about to dig all up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know. Something like that, okay? And see what's up. But anyway, if you uh, would like to join us there, the link for the remainder of this video is going to be in the description box to get to us on Patreon. If not, Divine Masculine, that's been your reading here on YouTube. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Masculine. Still, thank you for visiting my channel and my Trippin' or Not Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear and your tune-in deck at thegettonun.com. And I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.